The Raleigh skyline continues to change. Every day we see a little something new, and now a local developer wants to build a 20-story high-rise. Yep, it's in a spot where there's currently a historic home and the original char grill. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue is live for us tonight from Hillsborough Street after talking to the owners of those properties. Hey, Lillian. Good evening, guys. Well, like you said, Char Girl's been here, a 200-year-old historic home right behind it. They've been here way longer than the high-rises that have built up around it. But for the first time tonight, the owners of both properties spoke to me about why they're signing on to this project. A historic pocket of downtown Raleigh along Hillsborough Street touches people far beyond its few blocks. From the man who owns Char Grill, his family burger business in this spot for decades. We, we want to stay in downtown Raleigh. We've been there for 47 years and plan on being there many, many more years. To another family who's created memories in the historic 200-year-old Elmwood home for over a century. It means a great deal to me. Uh, it has for a long, long time. So when the Raleigh-based group Wilson Blount Development started looking at a 20-story high-rise for this area, dozens of people showed up to the first community meeting with their thoughts on changing this neighborhood. So it's a question of how thoughtful they are with transitioning to the neighborhood. Although preservation plans are still vague. Developers say they want to move the historic Elmwood house to a new spot. It's also the opportunity to relocate Elmwood to where it will last for another 200 years. Its owner hopes the move will keep the house safe against an ever-changing downtown. Now, I've been there literally every day almost for 24 years. The neighborhood has changed, especially in the past 5-10 years. And as for Char Grill's owner, he sees the new building as an opportunity as developers have planned to bring Char Grill back to make it their first tenant. We could better serve our customers with a more up Graded facility than we have now. And tonight's meeting is really as early as it can get in the development process. The next steps are to submit a formal zoning request to city leaders, then hold multiple more community meetings. Reporting live in downtown Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. All right, Lillian, thank you.